Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. It's been a while since I made this video. Simple ILI 9341 LCD display with ESP32 dev module step by step. I really just showed how to display images and GIFs. But this video has been kind of getting a lot of views and a lot of comments lately. People asking about playing video, asking about the touch screen, asking about the orientation of text on the screen. And we're going to delve into the ESP32 and the ILI 9341 a bit more. Yeah, so I searched and I found this article about playing video on the ESP32. It looks pretty comprehensive. Yeah, here's the wiring diagram. We're going to start with that. We've got this ESP32 dev board. And we got this ILI 9341. You can find my Amazon links down below. Support the channel by using those. So let's go ahead and wire these up. I'll leave this blank diagram on my GitHub site, so it might come in handy for you sometime. Okay, so first of all, 3.3 volt goes to VCC on the display. Ground on the ESP32 goes to ground. Pin 2 goes to MISO on the SD card side. The MISO on the SD card side goes back to VCC with a 1K ohm resistor in line. Pin 14 goes to SCK or clock. And pin 15 goes to MOSI. Okay, on the display side, pin 18 goes to SCK. Pin 19 goes to SDO MISO. Pin 22 goes to LED. Some people are asking, well, how do I control the backlight on the screen? That would be using an assigned pin going to LED. Pin 23 goes to SDI MOSI. Pin 27 goes to DC. And pin 33 goes to reset. Leave a comment down below if you see something missing. I sure did. All right, well, we're going to continue on now. Yeah, here he talks about using a headphone connected to pin 26. I would have liked if they called out a specific part for the amplifier. That would have given me a better clue. In the next video, I'll show you the amplifier I picked out if it works. But you're going to need an amplifier like that to drive a speaker. And that would get hooked to pin 26 and ground for the audio. That amplifier needs 5 volts to drive it. Yeah, so we got the wiring done. Now we're ready to prepare the Arduino IDE. Obviously you have to have the Arduino IDE installed. For ESP32 support, you go to File, Preferences, Scroll down to the bottom, additional board manager URLs. We can see it in there, but I'll go ahead and open up the list here. There we go. Scroll back to the front. Yeah, there's that dlespressif.com package ESP32 index JSON. That's going to let you select the ESP32 dev module. You see I already have selected it there. Tools, board. ESP32, there's the dev module. Now you may already have Arduino graphics library installed. He has his own port. The author of this article has his own port of the Arduino graphics library. You may have to uninstall the, first, the original one before you install this one. You're going to want to download the code as a zip. Then in the Arduino IDE under sketch, include library, add zip library you're going to browse back to where you downloaded that zip from the GitHub site. And you click on Open. I know this ESP8266 audio is by the original author. So we'll go ahead and use the library manager in Arduino IDE to install it. 
Yeah, we can see right there. Earl's ESP8266 audio. And the author of this article has this on GitHub as well. And this is just sample code. This is the sample code for the video. We're not going to get to that in this episode. We're going to do this next. Like I say, I want to work on the amp. You're going to download this as a zip. And you're going to copy the contents of the zip into your Arduino folder. You don't need to install it as a library because it's just sketches. You don't want to put it in the libraries folder. You see it right here under Arduino. RGB 565 Video Master. And it's just a collection of Arduino sketches. Okay, so from the graphics library, we're going to scroll down here. You're going to find this under graphics library for Arduino. And you know, because this is getting started, we're going to go ahead and go with Hello World. Let's go and maximize this window. You see the code's remarkably simple, but there's a lot you can learn here about placing text on the screen. You don't see the set rota rotation command in here, but you can set rotation anywhere from zero to three to position the text on the screen. But they're doing a random width of text, random height of text, and random margin. I went ahead and uploaded it, and I'm rather disappointed all I got was this spot in the middle of the screen there. Blank screen with a bunch of garbage in the middle crunched up. Knew something was missing. So you go back to the wiring diagram. I've wired everything just like it says there. We go back to the example code and you looky here. ESP32 various dev boards. CS gets hooked to pin 5. I knew we were missing CS. So, right there's pin 5. Let me get my fat fingers in there. There we go. That's pin 5 to CS. See, this is where I come in handy. I've helped figure this stuff out and save you the trouble. Yeah, we got that pin 5 going to CS. Let's fire this up now. There we go. It says, hello world. But wait, there's more. Yeah, here we're going to get random sizes and shapes and colors of Hello World with random different background colors. I think this is pretty cool. I'm very happy that uh, I managed. You, you cannot imagine my disappointment on a Sunday morning when you plug it in and you just get a blank screen with a little chunk of garbage in the middle. And then, you know, the, the joy of victory when you just go, oh yeah, let's hook another pin up and it works. So yeah, leave a comment down below uh, on, on experiences you've had like that. I hope that you've benefited from this video. I'm sure you will, because if you follow the wiring directions, you'll be able to get this far. So next up, we will do the video examples. I'll have to figure out that amplifier and I'll be sharing that link with you when we make that video. In the meantime, you'll want to read through this article for yourself and get these parts and get them wired together and stay tuned for my next video. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my ESP32 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.